Hello friends, welcome to Atlanta, Georgia. I'm here in front of the Oakland Cemetery, pretty famous place, and the only cemetery I've ever been to that's got a museum store and a, a visitor center. So in this instance, let's go check that out first. Oh, interesting. Hey, how's it going? So you're gonna come in here, and if you wanna find Margaret, she's right over here. So you're gonna take that first left, and at the, at the this little guard check here, you're gonna take that first left. All right. Very interesting visitor center. I'm loving it. They got some really cool books and stuff. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. That was <laughs> Oh, cool. Oh, the visitor center and gift shop is really cool. I picked up some goodies. I'll show you at the end of the of the walkthrough. This is nice. Very historical. I bought a, uh, a guidebook. It's a self-guided tour that you take, but it's a very informational guidebook that they offer for $5. It tells you some of the famous people that are laid to rest out here. Oakland Cemetery. So here's the tour map. Very nice book. You can see there's some information about the cemetery and some notable people. And they have a map here. You can locate some of these graves of notable Atlanta citizens. Notice this stone says 1850 it was established. Up here it says 1896, so it must be older than what I thought. That was coming in hot. I'm not sure if you drive through this or just walk. I think it's a walking tour, but well, question answered. It's a really nice cemetery. I was looking up some information on this before I came and I discovered that this is the largest cemetery in southeast United States. It's very big. There's 46 acres of resting souls here. Large. I don't think we're going to be able to cover all that ground, but there are a few grave sites that we will find today that are of note. Some amazing headstones here. I don't believe I've ever been in a cemetery with more well taken care of landscaping and mausoleums around. People are really packed in here. That's pretty cool. What a trippy place. This place is huge. I have never been in a cemetery this big just goes on forever having a little hard time finding who i'm looking for in here there's just so so many graves even though there's a map i'm still kind of lost it's cool i like this i like wandering around cemeteries as you probably know if you've seen many of my videos it's a very peaceful experience taking some time considering life and death and so on. Look at this cool grave marker, Benjamin Elliot Nicholson. Don't know who he was, but died in 1885. Has a very cool headstone. Here it is. The final resting place of Margaret Mitchell Marsh. Some of you out there are wondering, who is Margaret Mitchell Marsh? Why are you at her gravesite? Margaret wrote Gone with the Wind, and previous to the next person that we're going to visit, she was the most famous person, most would agree, that was buried here 
in the Oakland Cemetery. So I thought it was appropriate to come pay my respects. I've never read Gone with the Wind. I've seen about 20 minutes of it before I fell asleep on multiple occasions. But I'm sure it's a great movie and it clearly is a classic. And Margaret, thanks for what you did. You made a pretty good contribution to the planet, wouldn't you say? Cool. I hope I do something as cool and memorable as you, Margaret. And John, her husband, he was probably cool too. I see someone has left a penny. As I look inside the plant holder here, I see a few more pennies. On the back of Margaret's headstone is another family member. It's a quad purposed headstone. I'm really digging these old water Oh, this works, kind of. <laughs> cool. Quite the mausoleum. Austell family. Oh, Thornton, Kennedy, 1883. Hmm. Wow. There are a lot of mausoleums out here. Family plots, very nice headstones. It's interesting walking around and checking them out. You would assume that some of these very large ones are from wealthy family members, people that could afford to attempt to be remembered in, in their afterlife. But it's really not about the money that you spend on your headstone, is it? It's about what you did while you were here, not how you decorate yourself afterwards. But this next one we'll see is a pretty pretty well decorated headstone if you want to call it a headstone it's a memorial i think you'll enjoy it little buddy that young one was only two months old when he passed away i love that the cemetery has these signs to direct you to where they know you're trying to go there's no mistaking who is laid to rest right here. Thanks for everything you did for us, Kenny. You are an American legend. Kenny was an American legend. He is an American legend. I remember Kenny from being a, a kid and watching him on TV. Probably saw him on Hee Haw, one of those shows. I loved Hee Haw. But I always liked country music or whatever the style of music that Kenny was. He wasn't super country. I guess he was pretty super country. What am I talking about? But I, uh, I always liked him. I just thought he was a good role model. And... I don't know much about his life. People probably leave comments that, oh, he did something weird, and, you know, but who cares? Kenny Rogers. I want to do something as cool as Kenny Rogers did with his life. Hope I'm doing it right now. I think I'm doing it right now. And here's another one before we leave. Check this guy's grave out. Definitely no mistaking where Bobby Jones has been laid to rest. He's one of golf's all-time greatest, pioneer of the game. You can see they even weed whack around the pile of balls, kind of growing in the ground. That's awesome. Not much of a sports guy, well, but I read up on Bobby. He seemed like a pretty cool dude. He did a lot for the game of golf, and although I'm not a golfer, more of a disc golfer, but golf is it's fun sometimes. I do enjoy a round every couple of years. I'd probably be more into it if I had some other friends that were into it, but I'm not around that many people that play golf. But I'm sure that some of you out there would appreciate seeing Bobby Jones's final resting place. Cool. Thanks for joining me today, friends, at the Oakland Cemetery.
I almost forgot to show you the postcards that I picked up. I didn't want to show you until the end because it would give away our destination. Cool.